Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Emerge NYC episode. It has been a really long time and we are finally playing this game. There has been a lot of updates since the last time we played. So I actually want to show you guys some of the updates um, on the EMS side of things, which is pretty cool. So first thing first, there's now a hospital here. This is St. Louis International Hospital, which is pretty awesome. Look how... Oh, crap. I'm here crashing trying to look. Nobody said it, right? But look how cool and detailed that um, hospital looks. That's pretty cool. So, um, I'm just going to... Uh, well, we may need a little bit more space to do what I want to do. But then again, traffic is not on right now. So, we kind of do what we want to do right here. So, I'm going to show you some of the cool things that you could do with the ambulances here. So, we'll go ahead and jump out. As you can see, we are, have our paramedic ped here. Pretty nice. Very, very nice here. FDY paramedic. Alright, so, um, let's see, where should we start? I think we might as well just start with, like, the coolest thing that you can now do, which is open up the rear doors. I believe you can open, yeah, you can open these as well. So, you can open up everything. There's no supplies yet, but it's cool that we can open up. But the coolest thing I really want to show you guys today, if you come to the back here, you could open up this and we have a stretcher inside so we can actually take use of the stretcher and I'm going to show you guys that in a little while also that's pretty cool too that was already there but always want to take a moment out to say rest in peace to that EMT who passed away um, very tragically an idiot you know stole her ambulance and ended up killing her with it so definitely moment of silence and rest in peace to her there and I um, definitely want to keep her families and our thoughts and prayers there. Alright guys, so what do I want to show you guys here? Alright, so first I want to say remember this game is still in like an early access. So I know some things look a little bit crazy, but just want to mention this is still early access. The game is still currently being developed. So if you guys want to try it out while it's being developed, you can always buy it on Steam. If not, you can always wait until it's a little bit more uh, developed. So let's go ahead. You press uh, E here, and then it gives you a couple options. So we're going to grab the stretcher to take it out. So you just press E, move your mouse here, grab the stretcher, and look at that, guys. We have a stretcher, which is pretty cool. I'm trying to figure out a better way to look around here. So we got our medical bag, we have the stretcher, and I'm actually show you all of the cool things we could do with the stretcher. I notice this guy can't walk sideways. Um, Alright, so we're going to press E again. We're going to grab the stretcher. Oh, take the stretcher we should do. Alright, so now we're able to push the stretcher around. We kind of like take it wherever we want to go. Uh, I'm kind of stuck right here. I'm going to have to walk around. I'll walk back up on it. Oh, all right, we're gonna have to walk around. But it's pretty cool. You could take the stretcher, um, so you could kind of take it into the scene. This really adds a lot to role play too. Like we play multiplayer, we kind of have like uh, EMS standing by, um, which is pretty cool. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get up right here on the part that has that little space there. I think I could. Let's try it on this one here. Yep, there we go. Alright, so yeah, this is pretty cool. We can now ha uh, carry around our stretcher. And I'm going to show you all the cool things you can do with it here. So we're going to press E again. Um, we're going to drop it so that makes it stay here. Now what we're going to do now, press E again. We do a couple different things. We could lower it down. So sometimes you have a patient on the ground. So you definitely need a stretcher that could go down low so that it's easy to get somebody on like if you had to pick it pick them all the way up that would be hard so that's why most stretchers could lift up and lower down which is pretty cool um, other things you could do with it I'll show you guys here in a second Let's see what other options we have alright so we can move the patient so if we had a patient on here we could like put them on take them off we could raise this back up I think it was something else we could do too I forgot I mean that's probably everything yeah, I think that is everything. Then we could take it again. Uh, we got the patient. So now we're going to take the patient back to the ambulance. Um, I know they're still working on developing some EMS calls. Um, that may possibly be the, mess, the next big major update. Not 100% sure, but I did see that uh, Ralph was talking about working on some EMS calls. So that's going to be pretty cool. 
That is definitely going to be pretty cool. All right, so we could return the stretcher. That puts it back inside. Close the doors up. And we'll be able to transport the person to the hospital, which we're already at. But it's pretty cool. So um, I want to kind of try something here. Uh, let's kind of respond around with the ambulance. Um, there are a couple different types of ambulance, too, in case you guys are brand new. This is, like, based off of the Dodge. So that's like a Dodge ambulance. The one that I'm driving over here is based off of a Ford. So that's a Ford ambulance. We also have the GMC based EMS supervisors or conditions cars, what they call them in real life, which is pretty cool. Um, and then there are also a couple of other ambulances as well. Maybe I'll show you guys them uh, later on in the video. All right, so this fire actually has been going on for a little while. Let's go check it out really quickly. I should probably call the fire department to respond to this. Alright, I make this turn. Oh. Oh, that does not look good at all, guys. All right. I forgot. This is a bus fire. That thing is fully involved here, too. I was thinking this was like a possible interior fire. I wanted to see if we could, um, if we could get a, if we could get the stretcher inside of a structure. That was just something I wanted to test. But, man, that thing is blowing. So, let's see if we get the fire department here to help us out with this. Alright guys, so the fire department took care of that call. We're now responding to another call now. We do have traffic on now as well. Oops. This guy is not moving out of our way. Cause us to crash there. Come on, man. <laughs> they just disappeared. On scene, what block is it on? 129. Trying to see which way does that block go? I can't see. Ah, oh, crap, it goes the other way. I have to go around the block. Now, if you guys do want to see some more Emerge NYC video, uh, why do I keep saying vehicles? Videos, definitely let me know by leaving uh, some comments down below in the video description. And also, it makes you guys hit the like button. I see that you guys do like this video and enjoy Emerge NYC. I definitely will work on doing some more um, videos for you guys as well. A lot, of, a lot of people have been asking me about multiplayer as well, but the main reason I haven't been playing multiplayer is just kind of hard because we get a lot of people in the server, and then once we have a lot of people in the server, it just it just kind of lags. So I, I don't think we're going to really be able to do multiplayer until we get, like, uh, maybe, maybe it gets, like, another update or something, and maybe it'll uh, behave a little bit better, but that's the main reason why I haven't been, whoa, this car is pushing me, I'm like, I have not pressing the gas, but yeah, that's the main reason why I haven't been playing multiplayer. 
Oh, here's a alarm going off right here. All right, let, let me move out the way for the fire trucks in case they do come here. And yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get onto the sidewalk. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna park on the sidewalk because we had oh come on, we had trouble walking onto the sidewalk before. So I'm just gonna park on the sidewalk now. I want to see if if I could take this inside. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but it's just something I want to try out and see what happens. So let's hop out here. I wonder do we have any other clothes with this? Let me see. F3. Oh no, not the nose. Because you know, I don't know if you guys ever like saw EMS in uh, New York City. They actually put on like turnout gear when they're on scene of like a fire or like a serious call they wear like a tan turnout gear so it kind of looks like the firefighter gear that they wear that the uh, fire department wears but it's just tan instead of black the ones that New York City wears at least alright so I'm gonna try to take this out alright I don't know where it went where the heck did it go what the heck Alright, I lost my stretcher. I really wish we could walk sideways. Where the heck did my stretcher go, guys? What the... Dang it! Alright, so... Looks like that was a bug there. Somehow it just straight up disappeared on us. So, I'm probably going to have to get another ambulance over here, maybe. Because, I don't know what happened to our to our own um, stretch right here. Alright guys, so <laughs> trying to work my way through this traffic here. I'm in first person now. We're gonna try to bring a different ambulance see. If we could try out the stretcher and see how it works. Oh, I thought this black. Okay. I thought this black. Ah, oh, duh. I'm so stupid. Alrighty. Alright, so let's get on scene again and let's try this out again. So, if I park on the curb and that happens again, then we know that's definitely a bug. So let's hope it doesn't disappear this time. Go ahead and jump out. Alrighty. Let's uh, take this out. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's try to grab it. Alright, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to take it inside, but that would be cool. Right, can we walk up? Oh, yes, we could. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I know sometimes they also have, like, this, like, wheelchair kind of thing that they use as well, though. Sometimes in, like, apartments and stuff. So that's awesome. We could, we could take this around. Wait, am I going to be able to get out? Okay, I can get out. That is pretty cool. Alright, so that's what I just wanted to test just to see if that was going to work or not. So, hopefully you guys do enjoy this episode again. Let me know if you guys want to see some more Emerge NYC content. I definitely will uh, make it happen for you guys. Like I said, just let me know by hitting the like button, leaving some comments down below, and then subscribing if you guys are new. Whoa, I haven't seen NYPD tow truck just driving around.
Wow, it's been a lot of updates since I um last time I played. And if there's any other things you guys would like me to show off, um, definitely let me know. It looks like this pet can't jump either. That's the problem. I can't get. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get back in my car now. Ah, oh, come on, man! You can't jump, bro. All right, so this pet can't jump yet for some reason. So we kind of stuck here. <laughs> so hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.